gives you such respect for what these folks do for us every single day. Hey everybody, Dennis Leary here. Welcome to the fifth annual Dennis Leary FDNY Firefighter Challenge and the first virtual one. Normally people come down to the Rock, the training academy that the FDNY runs, which is you know just an amazing facility. And we put you in bunker gear and we team you up with celebrities and actual FDNY firefighters and you get to go through the training. I watched Rachel rappel from the roof of a building at the training. Oh my academy. God, oh my God. It's really, if you haven't done it, it's really scary. It's so scary. It's so scary, you guys. But it gives you such respect for what these folks do for us every single day. What they do is so critical and essential to our lives. ConAgra Brands is very proud to sponsor this year after year. If you're here, you are in a firehouse or you're already devoted to who we are and what we do. So we're doing okay. something fun and simple tonight. We're just doing firehouse Joes, a sloppy Joe. We're gonna start with liquid in the pan by using some chopped onion two tablespoons of chili powder, one tablespoon each of pimenton smoked paprika, regular paprika, coriander, and cumin. And we're gonna put that in the pan with the water to force out the liquids in the onion. Two pounds of beef, a little bit of beef stock, your tomatoes. We put about the same amount of vinegar, Worcestershire shia sauce and light brown sugar. And then you just let this guy bubble and get serious. Woo! Firehouse Joe's. The mission of the department of the foundation is to help fire departments across the country. And what we brag about and what we're so proud of is when you donate your money, and I don't care how much it is, if it's a gigantic check, that's great. If it's a dollar, that's great. Every dollar makes a difference because we are literally within six months to a year, we are supplying vehicles, tools, uh, you know, technology, the new technology, um, training facilities. Even if we're just breaking ground, you can see where the building or where the vehicle or where the piece of equipment is going. We can show you, you know, the actual uh, And it's so needed now more than ever. After yes. all of the budget cuts over the last, especially over the last five or six years, there's so many fire departments, large and small, that are in need. And it, it literally, what Dennis said, is so true. A couple of bucks mm -hmm. contributes to all of these giant things that they need. Training hey, Rachel, facilities. Firefighters never go on strike. So of course That's it right. makes common sense. When a, when, a, when a government has funding problems, the first people they're gonna cut are the firefighters because they're still gonna come to work, right? So I understand that, but that's where we come in. Now, in the course of this last year, like Rachel said, there's budget cuts all the time in fire departments, but in the course of the last year during the pandemic, our grant requests this fall increased- Incredible. 260%, 260% because departments big and small not only have they had their budgets cut this year, it's as the country st starts to recover and tries to financially recover from it's this incredible. pandemic, the fire department's gonna get cut even more. So it's, it's more than ever, we need people's help.